What's going on guys, it's your rifle here. And I know, I know, it's been quite some time now. Actually, to be precise, it's been about four days now. Where the heck have you been, rifle? Why have you been uploading? Why? Why, rifle? Why haven't you been uploading? Well, long story short, let's just say I've had some bad, bad problems. You know, I bought the new Halo Master Chief Collection. I was like, yeah, I'm excited, because, you know, I played it growing up. I played Halo growing up back in when freaking it was first coming out. Like, I... I don't know, I played it when, even when I didn't have Xbox Live, and I was playing System Link for fun. Like, yeah, System Link, or like, freaking split screen with my buddies for fun. Like, yeah, split screen. But anyways, I got the Halo Master Chiefs just saying, yeah, I'm a fan, I'm a fan. By the way, Zerg's right here. For one second, I'm just going to explain where I've been at. I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm a fan, I'm going to buy the Halo Master Chief Collection, I'm going to kick some ass on there. You know, just play a little bit of it, and then I'm going to make a video on Destiny. Turns out, I got the game, and it takes 12 hours to download onto your freaking console. Not to mention, when I was finally finished, you know, like, yeah, all of these games are downloaded on one disc. You know, I downloaded all the games on this one disc, now I can finally play. Turns out, the last download I needed actually got corrupted, and I had to restart the whole installation. So that 12 hours I just waited for, for those downloads to get completed, well, it turns out, I had to reinstall and do it all over again. So pretty much to sum this up, it took me about almost three days to even download Halo Master Chief Collection. And when I downloaded, I was like, finally, I get to play. So I took a day off and I played a little. I know, freaking rifle, why are you taking a day off? What the fuck's the matter with you, man? But anyways, my bad about not uploading the past few days. And I promise you that is going to change. Rifle is back. Your rifle is back, everyone. And what Zur is having, I actually did the weekly heroic strikes just so I can buy this weapon right here the last word it is an exotic hand cannon nonetheless I want this freaking weapon just because it is a hand cannon and it is exotic anyways what this hand cannon the last word does it has a perk called last word and as you can see bonus damage and stability extra precision damage when firing from the hip so that's nice to know so I don't have to zoom down the sights to get some extra firepower with this bad boy not to mention, it also has something called hip fire. So, you know, as I mentioned before, zooming down the sights, you don't even have to. Look at this. This weapon has bonus accuracy while firing from the hip as well. So these two perks right here go hand in hand together. I know, it might be the hunter in me, but I really want this hand cannon just because it is an exotic hand cannon. They're very rare to get, so I'm going to go ahead and collect this bad boy. Those of you are saying, why are you getting the last word rifle? What's the matter with you, man? Well, I just explained that. They're rare to get. Exotic hand cannons don't come all the time, so I'm getting it. BAM! Bought it. I'm also going to show a little bit of gameplay of this weapon as well. So to continue on with what Zer has, I'll start with the Warlock Chestplate, Void Fang Vestments. This has been here a couple times now, guys, so I think you guys get the point of what this bad boy does. Improved Axion Bolts, and it has, you know, the hand cannon ammo and a special weapon ammo, so... You guys know what this chest plate does. Anyways, on to the next one, which is the Hunter's chest plate, which is the Crest of Alpha Loopy. Which basically, I've explained this before. I know we're seeing repeats here from Zer. What the heck, Zer? We don't want to see no repeats. But anyways, the Alpha Loopy pretty much helps with revives. It's a good team player chest plate. So if you want, get this chest plate because you can be revived faster and you can revive your teammates faster. It's actually a pretty nice chest plate. Okay, up next is the Titan's chest plate, which is the Armentarium. This chest plate isn't that bad. I mean, come on, it is an exotic. And exotics are good nonetheless. It doesn't matter what exotic it is, it's going to be good in its own sort of way. But, anyways, as you can see, the perks on this is special weapon ammo, heavy weapon ammo, and grenade booster, carrying an additional grenade. And the rest is just kind of perks of the chest upgrade defense. That's pretty much what Zer has for the loot this time. If you have trouble getting strange coins, as in you only have one character and your strange coins are kind of limited, well then, I don't know, if you're not too big of a fan of hand cannons, then I don't suggest to get this exotic weapon. I'd wait until next time, because you never know what Zer could be containing. So, as you can see, it is a hand cannon. It's not like the best exotic weapon you could possibly see. So, once again, if strange coins are hard to come by for you, I don't suggest getting this. That's just my opinion, but hey. You all have your own preferences and you see what it's capable of. Actually, you don't know exactly what it's capable of. Some people want to see gameplay of it and, you know, what it sounds like, etc. So, I'm going to show you some gameplay of the last word now since I got it. Let me equip this bad boy. And it's a primary exotic. Primary exotics are always nice. And as you can see, I've been collecting them. I don't have tons of exotic weapons, I know. But I've been 
like exotic weapons from Zur I try to buy just because I want to collect them. Just just how I roll, I guess. Just how I roll. Yours, not mine. Man, yeah, that's a giant hand cannon too. Now that is the definition of a freaking hand cannon. Look at the size of that thing. Sheesh, oh weesh. It's like the size of a mini sawed off shotgun. Anyways, let's go check it out. Abomination. Alright, this hand cannon actually has a pretty awesome animation feature. Check it out when I switch to the weapon. Boom! Does this extra little flippy thing and just makes you feel badass when you switch to this thing. It makes you feel like you're about to get some kind of like five kills in a row on Crucible or some shit. It makes you feel like you're gonna like kill everything in your way. It just makes you feel freaking awesome. I like it. I like switching to this weapon. Anyways, what's also good about this weapon, I know the animation's not much. It's just a small little thing. Is the hip fire to this pistol actually? Check it out. Check out the hip fire. And not to mention the perks you can get can make the hip fire freaking incredible. Just extremely accurate. Check it out. It's accurate right now just by. You see the distance on this thing? Like I'm backing up and still like managing to shoot them and take them out. And I'm not even zooming in at all. Not to mention if you don't zoom in down the sights and you get these perks, the weapon's even stronger. So keep that in mind, guys. This weapon, this hand cannon is actually a hip fire kind of weapon. It's not for to zoom in at all. And also keep in mind, there are crucible bounties for getting hand cannon kills. So it's always good to collect a good hand cannon weapon, especially if you're a bounty collector. Like you try to get all the bounties done because it's hard to come by an actually good hand cannon in my opinion. That could be because I just don't play with hand cannons that much. If you know what I'm saying, I just don't mess. I just don't mess around with them. I'm normally a scout rifle kind of guy, but nonetheless, this hand cannon's freaking awesome. And as you can see, zooming down the sights, it works the same way. It's still fast, still nice, but it's meant to be firing from the hip. Boom, boom, boom. You want some night? You want some? Yeah, that's right. Sit the hell down. But yeah, guys, there you have it. This is the last word exotic hand cannon, and nonetheless, it's freaking awesome. Here it is again. Boom flippy thing that's about wrapping up this video guys i hope you guys have enjoyed it. i've been tweaking out since i haven't been making youtube videos feels good to be back i know it's just a zur weekly location video and a breakdown of the loot he has but still it's good to be back i've been tweaking out my eyes been twitching my freaking legs has been twitching i haven't been walking straight fucking i'm throwing up in the restroom having diarrhea shits you don't know how much i actually go through when i'm not making youtube videos guys i freaking i'm just addicted to it just feels odd if i'm not no, I haven't really been throwing up puking and whatnot, but yeah, I have been feeling a little bit weird. Actually, extremely weird, just because I haven't been making videos, and I'm used to doing them every single day, and I missed a few days, so now I'm trying to make up for it and give you guys this short little video and explain where I've been. I'm sorry once again for missing those few days, guys. Thanks, everyone, for sticking around with your old rifle. Hope to see you all in the next video. Thanks, everyone, for watching, and most importantly, thank you all for your time. Peace. You guys didn't come here for no heartwarming story. You came here for the freaking exotic scout rifle, Fate of All Fools. Which I'll be showing some leaked images of it in game at the end of this video. Not to mention a review on the perks it has as well. It actually has some pretty interesting perks that are awesome. The perks is what makes this weapon.